What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl the notorious N to the I to the A. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did the DIYs for my birthday trip. You guys have been eating this up in the little previews I showed on TikTok. So it's finally time to show you how to make if it. If you guys haven't seen that vlog, it is now live on my channel. I gifted each one of my friends with a personalized gift for coming on the trip. So yeah, let's get into it. I started off in Canva just to design the monograms and technically I just made everybody a logo because I didn't want the typical monogram but here is all the details as to what template I used as well as the font and yeah I just went with it had fun with it and I really liked what I created for everybody it's just their initials but I really wanted to create something that was unique to me just didn't want to do the basics. downloaded those and insert them into Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna start off with the custom beach bags that I made that everything went in. As far as sizing that's completely optional I just went with what I thought looked best so each one is about three inches. For the bags I used stencil vinyl so you will see me select that here. This was my first time even working with stencil vinyl. I had no idea they even had that. I just knew I needed to create a stencil because I couldn't heat press on this bag because the inside was lined with PCV. So I really needed to use a fabric marker in order to do that. I had to create a stencil. So this was my first time working with this and obviously it turned out really, really well and I'm really happy about that. And now we're going to go ahead and weed out everything that we don't need to create our stencil. When you're weeding these smaller letters if you decide to do that. Make sure that you're not weeding up these small details that make out letters such as the A or an E. Doing any DIY, I always use mine as the test dummy, so that's what mine looks like. So we're going to use a fabric marker. I got this from Michaels. It was about $2, so I will link that below. And I decided to put these designs on the back of the bag. I just didn't know if they would have wanted it on the front, so I decided to go with the back. So you're going to see me measuring everything out, making sure it's straight, and place that transfer tape so we can get the backing off of the stencil. This was a little challenging, but it's super easy once you get the hang of it. So you're going to peel the backing off of the stencil vinyl, <laughs> and then you're going to peel off that transfer tape. And this is the hard part because you want to make sure you're not losing any of those little details. So definitely be very careful with this part. you're just going to start coloring it in so this part reminded me of literally coloring I did the outline first and what I found helpful was to point the pen straight up and dot down and then fill in the middle so I did the outer sides first using my weeding tool to hold down the stencil so it didn't bleed but it looks like when it's all done so I'm just going to go ahead and peel this off and reveal our design and then clean up the edges using the other side of the pen. Moving on to our flip flops, I got these flip flops from Old Navy and I'm just going to take some acetone to remove that logo because we don't want that on there. We want our own custom flip flops. With some of these it was really easy to do and some of these it was a little harder, it had a little, a little bit of elbow grease in there but once it's off, it's off and you have a nice blank canvas to work with. So this is the design that goes on the right foot so we're going to go ahead and attach this so it doesn't move around when we go to cut it. Make sure you're selecting your right mat, center this. I've learned that if you don't, it will cut off part of your image. So definitely make sure you center this and reposition it. Mirror your image, that is very important. We're gonna select iron on. I selected more pressure. I'm not sure if you actually have to do this, but I did. I had to whip out my heat press for this and the settings are 320 for 30 seconds with checking them in between. So use smart vinyl for this project in the same monogram design that I used for the bag. And I'm just gonna place it down onto the flip-flop, make sure it's centered where I want it. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and press it now be very careful because I definitely did burn my foot while doing this so just be careful it's kind of hard to get a good angle on this it's kind of weird it's a flip-flop but just make sure that you're applying even pressure to it and then I suggest that you peel these hot so it doesn't leave a film behind and this is what it should look like also want to add that these held up very well we did go to the beach we were wearing them often and nothing peeled and nothing came up so I definitely think the smart vinyl is a good choice for this project and as you guys can see that film is there so make sure you peel them when it's hot last thing that i made them was custom beach towels and i also used the smart vinyl for this as well and like i said i'm using the same exact logo monogram that i made them i'm just resizing them for each project so obviously for the foot flop is smaller for the bag it's about medium size and the towel it's a lot larger very important also that when you're working with the smart vinyl you mirror your design so that it comes out on the right side after you get your design cut out you just want to fold the towel in half and press it so that you can create a crease so you know where the middle of the towel is and you're going to press that for about 10 seconds heat settings for this is 315 degrees Fahrenheit and I also got the towels from Target in case I did not mention that so put your design right in the middle of that crease but first you're going to place your heat resistant mat underneath so you don't burn anything and then you're going to preheat your fabric for five seconds prior and then go ahead and press it for 30 seconds. I'm wondering why this comb is here. I just wanted to make sure that all the fabric is going in the same direction because I was kind of nervous about pressing a towel, but then you're gonna flip it over and press it on the other side for about 15 seconds and then you let it cool before you peel it a good way to tell if it took to the fabric is if you could see the fabric through the vinyl that's kind of how i knew it stuck and now for my last detail on the towel i added some tassel trim to it i got this tassel trim from joann's so you're gonna just see me place everything down make sure it's even make sure it's lined up then i'm gonna take this fabric fusion glue this was the quick dry one and then I applied a generous amount to the towel and then just stuck it on there it was pretty simple I also got the fabric fusion from Joanne so I will also link that down below and then after I use the fabric fusion I'm gonna go in with some pins and tack it down just to make sure everything dries in place I actually let this sit overnight now you do not need that long but I wasn't in no rush so I definitely just let them sit overnight before removing these pins and yeah you just repeat that throughout the whole length of the towel now i only did this on one end feel free to do it on both if you wanted to but i just thought it looked cute on this one end and let me just say that these towels from target are really high quality they are the oversized towels and they could be used as regular bath towels as well so even if you don't want to do a beach towel you definitely do not have to this is a regular towel i just decided to dedicate it as a beach towel because all the beach towels that i were finding were very loud and obnoxious and i learned that's actually how they design beach towels on purpose but that's not what i wanted that's not what i was going for so i just made my own and same thing with these nothing lifted nothing moved nothing came off this should last up to 50 washes if not more and this was the final result i absolutely love how these came out this was the project that i was the most worried about so i am so happy that it came out exactly how i envisioned and that everybody loved them so i'm going to include their reaction now so you guys can see how my whole presentation and delivery was for these projects but everything's sturdy nothing's moving and i absolutely love this we have a towel some flippity flops sorry no yeezys okay so your towel could be a beach towel a shower towel anything you need it to be okay we have beach bags so you know if you ever need to sign to put your stuff in you got it and your shoes so you ain't gotta walk on these floors even though they clean to what we can see you know you can wear them in the shower do what you gotta do but everything is customized i never worked with my heat press so it's my first time using that 
Okay, so I hope y'all like it. Thank you again for coming out to celebrate my birthday. Thank you, no problem. And this is what it looks like in action. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and comment down below if you plan on making these. I've not seen my birthday vlog. It will be linked down below in the description. I also am selling these in my Etsy shop. Click the link down below for that. And yeah, I always have to do a DIY for my birthday. I don't know what it is about me and that. So definitely look out for more DIYs on this channel. And I thank you guys always for watching and I'll see you in my next one.